When Daniel, uh, Daniel's friends, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego were going to be thrown into the fire, fire furnace, they said, look, even if, it, even if God does not rescue us, let it be known, O king, we are not going to serve your gods or worship the golden image that you have set up. If, even if he does not rescue me, is that lack of faith? No, it's a possibility of risk because risk, you can lose something. And the reason we, every time we step out on faith, in fact, every time we live a day, we live in risk is because we don't know the future. God can't risk because he does not know the future. As one writer put it, he does, he, or rather he knows all the future. So we cannot risk. And so I would say to you, if we follow God, there is no risk in what he wants for our life. There's nothing that can happen to us unless God wills it. But here's the risk. The risk in taking a step with God is that things will not turn out like you and I want them to turn out. That our God, that our idol will be attacked and extinguished in our life. I mean, again, what, what kind of God would feed that idol? I'm going to bless, I'm going to bless, I'm going to bless, I'm just going to bless you all over the place as you continue to walk outside of my will and be fearful of other things and have fears in your life because of idols in your life. God's not going to do that. But the only thing we risk is things will not turn out like I want them to turn out. Paul took risk all of his life. And he says, I'm more than a conqueror through him. He says, he, he did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How will he not with us, with that free, freely give us all things? Hey, we're going through Toys R Us, and God wants to bless us with all kinds of stuff. And he goes on, and, and, and he talks about it in one part of this passage. But in all things, we are overwhelmingly conquer through him who loved us. Now, that word overwhelmingly conquer in the original language means something very special. It doesn't mean that we just simply conquer our enemy conquer the idol in our life, but we make the idol in servitude to us because we're more than conquerors in him. 